Hi, I'm Claire on this very windy day at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom. We're based in Hilton in Derbyshire and I want to show you around the latest van that's come up from our valet department and it's going on the pitch for sale. It is a 22 Eldest Majestic 120. Um, it's based on the Peugeot Boxstar cab. What is it, Wendy? It's a two litre. Two litre 160, I think. So two litre 160 brake horsepower. So as we go around the outer edge, we'll point out some of its features. So as we can see, it's got the Peugeot alloy wheels. This here is where the toilet cassette is stored. We can see that in there. Here is the storage for two gas bottles, water fill point, shower point. To the rear, you can see there's a house in there where you'd put a bike rack should you require one, and also a reverse camera. This box here is where the leisure battery is. So your leisure battery is here and this is where we connect to the mains. And as we head down, you can see it has a gas barbecue point, fridge vents. This is a diesel vehicle, which also requires add blue. Let's go inside because I'm fed up with this wind. As we go in, you can look up and see we have got the canopy. So, coming into the Majestic 120, we've got removable carpets throughout. To the front, you can see here the screen. That's the reverse camera screen. And as we look down there, we can see the head unit, which has got media, radio, sat nav, phone connectivity, all to be controlled from your steering wheel. Yeah. It's got a USB point and a 12 volt point. It's a six speed gearbox. To the front of the windscreen here, you can see that we've got the blinds and also to the side. As we look up, you can see we've got a nighttime blind and also a fly screen. And this skylight opens up to bring more ventilation into the motorhome. As we turn around, you can see the easy use controls. So we've got the master switch on, the lighting switches, awning switch, water pump on, and we can also see the power in the leisure battery. The Majestic has got a really nicely well-equipped kitchen with a microwave, plate storage, two main sockets, two USB sockets, a three ring gas hob and a good size sink. We've got a work surface extension here, a combi oven and grill. <coughs> Bless you, oh, Wendy. Excuse me. <laughs> We've also got a three-way fridge which works on gas, mains and battery whilst travelling. As we look here, whilst Wendy's tittering about the sneeze, you can see that we've got the regulator for the roof-mounted solar panel, the TV aerial and the regulator for the TV aerial and also some infill cushions. Additional work surface area here as well with a storage drawer. As we come to the bottom of the motorhome, you can see that we have got a really nice relaxing space. I could get very comfy in here. So nice cushion throws. We've got good storage, practical place for your TV and these three windows, perfect for a little bit of people watching. I like a bit of people watching. So we've got here as well, we've got a 12 volt socket a TV aerial and a main socket. And above here, we've also got the roof light. Yep. The motorhome has a wet room style washroom. Inside here, you will see there's a shower, which is an eco camel shower. Yep. The vanity sink, a vanity cupboard behind the shower curtain yep. and the toilet. On the top of the toilet, you'll see a blue button, which is the flush. And to the left of the blue button, you'll see a picture of a cassette and that will tell you when your toilet cassette needs to be emptied. That's Above it. my head here, you've got the extractor fan as well. So that will remove any cooking smells on a three speed, taking air out. And on a really hot day, you could also bring air in to circulate air around your motorhome. So if I was you, I'd be considering coming over to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom and asking for me. My name's Claire and I'd love to show you around this. 
any questions that you may have, I'm here to help. But do give us a call before you come and that way we can make sure we put the keys in our pocket so nobody else buys it whilst you're on your journey. So come and ask for me, I'm Claire, or come and see the rest of the sales team. I look forward to seeing you on site.